Hello everyone and welcome back to STW Sports and today I'm going to be giving you my Euro 2020 knockout stage predictions. The last 16 begins today, hopefully the video will be out by the time the first game has been played between Wales and Denmark, but if not it'll be on the evening or maybe the day after. But yeah, very excited for the knockout stages now, really enjoyed the group stages, so let's hope the knockout stages can continue to deliver. So the first game is Wales versus Denmark. Um, huge game for both really, uh, obviously Wales, you know, they've done well to get to there again, second, another second place finish, I think they did quite well, they've got a really good team spirit about them, but Denmark, they're really spurred on by what happened to Christian Eriksen, I don't want to go into that too much, but I really think Denmark are going to come with a reaction here, I'm going to go for a 2-1 Denmark win, yeah, I just think they'll have enough, it'll be a late goal as well in my opinion, but yeah, I think it's going to be a really good game, but yeah, I am fancying a Denmark narrow win. The next game is Italy versus Austria. Probably the easiest one to predict in the last 16. Italy have been exceptional so far. With all due respect to Austria, they're not a bad team, but they're, they're just not as good as Italy. And the momentum Italy have got right now, I'm back in an easy 3-0 Italy win. I'm just going to go for a comfortable win there. I can just see it now. Next up, it's Netherlands versus Czech Republic. Huge game, really. Um, Netherlands, I know they got nine points in their group, but they're not the same team they once were. Czech Republic have surprised a few people at this tournament, really. They've done quite well, but I am going to go for a Netherlands win here. A very narrow 1-0 win with a late goal from Memphis Depay. Why not? Yeah, I'm going to say a very narrow win. And the next game is arguably the best game in the last 16 overall. Belgium versus Portugal. So many stars on show. It's so hard to call this one. Ronaldo's been on fire in this tournament so far. He's obviously eager to get the golden boot and his second consecutive Euros. Belgium are a good team, but it's gonna, this isn't going to be easy. I mean, this is a hard one to predict. You know what? I'm going to say 1-1 after 120 minutes. Nothing to separate the two teams. And I'm going to say Belgium to win it on penalties with Romelu Lukaku scoring the, the final one. It's bold, but I, I mean, it's thinking the fact Cristiano Ronaldo will be exiting the tournament this early and Bruno Fernandes and players like that for that matter is crazy. But look, someone's going to go with early on. It's going to be either Kevin De Bruyne or Cristiano Ronaldo, which is crazy to think and kind of sad to think really. But I'm going to say Belgium just to get their moment here and edge past Portugal. Next up, we have Croatia versus Spain. Very excited for this one, to be fair. I mean, it's not the clash it would have been a few years ago. Croatia obviously getting on now. Spain are, I know they beat Slovakia 5-0, but they're not a great team. I'm going to go with a an extra time 1-0 Croatia win. I just don't rate Spain that much. I just think Croatia, they've got a little bit of momentum after that 3-1 win over Scotland. 1-0, I'm saying to Croatia, just as well. Why not say a Luka Modric goal as well in extra time, just to top it off, because, you know, what a player Modric is. Next up, we have France versus Switzerland. Now, this is going to be an interesting one, really. I mean, France haven't really hit top gear yet, but Switzerland, they're OK. They were poor against Italy, but they've done quite well otherwise. France and Switzerland have had a lot of meetings down the years as well. In this one, I'm going to go for a narrow 2-1 France win. I just don't think they've hit top gear yet, France. In the latter stages of a tournament, I think we'll see that a lot more. But yeah, I'm going to go with a very narrow France 2-1 win, with Kylian Mbappe scoring the winning goal. And next up, it is Germany versus England. Oh, I, I, I'm, I, yeah, this is a very hard one. Obviously, look, I'm obviously English, you can see by the shirt, but it's going to very be a very hard one, this. Uh, Germany, you know, they've not been great, but look, they tore Portugal apart. And if they play anything like that against England, then it could be a long day. I'm going to say, because it's at Wembley, 1-1 one, one after 120 minutes, and I'm going to say England 4-3 on penalties. It's probably not going to happen, but look, I've got to go for a risk. I had In my original predictions, I did actually have England to beat Portugal on penalties in the last 16, so why not? England to beat Germany on penalties. Bit of revenge for Southgate from 25 years ago as well when he missed in Euro 96. Yeah, I'm going to go with England just on penalties, but it's probably not going to happen, unfortunately. And next up, we have Sweden versus Ukraine. Not really the best title. In fact, if England go through, they play the winners of this. is quite encouraging. Um, I'm going to go with a 1-0 Sweden win here. I don't think it'll be a classic by any means. I just think Sweden will have enough. And yeah, an edgy, unconvincing 1-0. And now we move into the quarterfinals. And the first game of the last eight, from what my predictions have gone so far, would be Belgium versus Italy. Now, this is going to be an absolute thriller if it is the case. I mean, even if it's Portugal v Italy or, or whoever... It's going to be a very good game. Italy have been exceptional so far. It's hard to look past them. You know what? I'm going to say 1-0 to Italy. 
and generally Italy, they've got a lot of men on their goal record as well. Why not? Italy, 1-0 win here with Kiro Mobile scoring a late winner. It'll be heartbreak for Belgium to miss out on yet another tournament, but yeah, I'm going to say it. I'm, I think Italy are just going to edge this. They've just got so much momentum right now, it's hard to see even Belgium beating them. Next up would be France versus Croatia. I mean, the winners of this would face Italy. I'm going to go with a 3-1 France win. I think Croatia are good. Obviously, this is a repeat of the 2018 World Cup final as well. Um, I'm going to say France 3-1 win in this one. Nothing, nothing like, you know, too convincing, but I think they'll get over the line. This is the game they'll slightly click into more of a higher gear. Yep, I'm going to say 3-1 to France. Next up, we'd have Sweden versus England. Of course, a repeat of the 2018 World Cup quarterfinal between the two as well. 1-0 England I'm going to go for here with Harry Kane scoring the winning goal, ending his tournament drought to this point. Um, England beat them very comfortably really in 2018, but I don't think it'll be as easy here. I think it'll be a close game, but 1-0, an edgy 1-0 to England. Next up, Netherlands versus Denmark. Now, this is my this is my bold prediction. Yes, Netherlands have had a very good tournament so far, as I mentioned, but look, Denmark are spurred on right now. They've got such a good team spirit about them. I'm going to say Netherlands nil, Denmark 2, and I'm going to say it'll be two late goals from them as well. When you've got this much momentum like Denmark, you can win games, and I really think Denmark will do it here. In a bit of an upset win, I'm going to say it 2-0 to Denmark. And now we move on to the semi-finals, with the first match would be France versus Italy. Oh, it's tough to predict. I'm on about Italy having so much momentum. If anyone can beat them, it's going to be France. I'm going to say France won, Italy won, and I'm going to say France to win it on penalties. Yeah, I'm going to say France will just go for it. It'd be heartbreak for Italy if this did happen, but yeah, an edgy France penalty win. Of course, as well, these two did meet each other in the final of Euro 2000 and World Cup 2006, but and that one went to penalties where Italy won, so maybe a little bit of revenge for France here, even if the stakes aren't quite as high. Yeah, I'm going to say France on penalties, and it would also be England versus Denmark. I mentioned about Denmark's momentum. I've got to keep the faith. I've got it. I'm going to say 1-0 England in extra time with... Declan Rice scoring the winner. That's never going to happen, is it? But yeah, why not? Declan Rice scoring the winner. Ambitious, but you've got to have it in there sometimes. Yeah, and so that would mean a France-England final. I originally went with this, and I'm sticking with it as well. France to beat England, 1-0 in the final through Kylian Mbappe. I hate to say it, I'd love to say England football's coming home. England are going to win it, but... I just think France, they haven't hit a high gear yet, but they still finished top of their group and it's coming. Trust me, I think they eventually they're going to click into that gear and take the tournament by storm. So yeah, 1-0 to France. Um, yeah, France will be the Euro 2020 winners, in my opinion. But yeah, that's the end of the video anyway, guys. I hope you all really enjoyed. Please like, share, subscribe to the channel and please let me know what you think in the comments below. Who do you think will win Euro 2020 and how much are you looking forward to the knockout stages? But yes, thank you anyway, guys, and I'll see you soon.